I'm Nicole Poulton. In this video, we're going to talk about how do you know when it's time to take out your dreads? Featuring Carmel. I was inspired to make this video because it is time to take my dreads out. So how do you know when it's time to move up your dreads or take them down or whatever you want to call them? Eventually you'll get the hang of it and you'll just know when it's time for you specifically. So this is just a blanket view on how do you know. One of the biggest signs that it's time to take your dreads out is when they start telling you and they start falling out on their own. When they start falling out themselves, that just means that either your elastics are breaking or they're slipping a lot. And I wanted to show you what slippage looks like. These pieces on the bottom, like the back bottom row for me are always the ones that start, start to slip a lot. Um, the soonest. So this specific dread I have reinstalled probably three times already. <laughs> when you've got a lot of dreads that are starting to slip, like this is pretty far away from my scalp if you can see this. So when you've got a lot of dreads that are starting to do that, if a majority of them are causing that kind of problem, then it's probably more likely that it's best to just do your whole head versus just fixing a couple here and there. Another reason you would want to just completely move up all your dreads, take them out and move them up, is because you need to wash your dreads specifically. Like for example, if you were to go to the beach and roll around in the sand and you get a bunch of sand in your dreads, it might be easier to wash your dreads when they're off your head versus when they're still installed. So if you were needing to wash your dreads, do a deep wash, sometimes it's just easier to uninstall them and then put, in, put them back in when they're ready. For me specifically today, I feel like it's time to take my dreads out completely and move them up, mostly because I just feel like it. <laughs> I just want to and so it's just gonna be nice to kind of give myself a little bit of a reset and get to let my natural hair do its thing for a couple days and see what that's like like I miss my natural hair sometimes and which is why it's really nice to have dreadlock extensions that way I don't have to commit to real dreadlocks I just feel like in the mood to take them out today and it, I don't know a better reason than that so I hope this video helped you know when it's time to move up your dreads. Ultimately, if you have dreadlocks installed, you're going to be able to know when it's time to move them up. So if you like to maximize your install and really stretch it out and go like a full eight weeks with the same install, maybe you're just going to need to touch up a few pieces here and there. If you're like me and you need change, <laughs> sometimes I only last like two or three weeks of them installed before I need to take them out completely and just scrub my scalp and just kind of reset myself and then reinstall them. I don't mind reinstalling them, so I take them out probably more often than most people with dread extensions do, but I would say don't wait too long, don't ignore the signs because then you could cause damage or actually dread your real hair, which if you don't want to do that, then you don't want to do that. <laughs> if that is your goal, then do what you want, obviously. I hope this answered your question of how to know when to move up your dreads. Basically, just whenever you feel like it or whenever you feel like it's necessary, this is my own preference. This is what my dreads look like. I've got some crazy frizz going, so it's kind of just worth it to me to just do a quick restart. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I love you so much. I will talk to you later. Bye.